Nothing is going to happen to the president on my watch. What's his problem? Move along. We need to keep an eye out for anything suspicious. Nothing is going to happen to the president on my watch. Hmm. That's weird. Am I supposed to leave him somewhere? Keep an eye on sniper locations. Oh. Okay. Well, for one thing, this storm is kind of being a pain in the balls. Let's turn that off. Uh, I know I'm supposed to investigate something too and find a bomb or something. You better get out of here. Smart you move get for out the kings to back you better down. Get out of here. Nothing is gonna happen. Got you now. The hell? No murderer. What have you done? Who opened fire? <laughs> Oh, you stupid NPCs. You better get out of here. Move along. You better get out of here. I guess he turned hostile. Isn't it? Uh... And how exactly did that happen? You're clear to go on through. I feel like I should be doing something, but don't know what. Looks like nothing is going to happen to the president on my watch. Yeah. 
So I find nothing. And oh, this is useless. I don't have time to talk right now. They're not supposed to wear masks, are they? Nope. That wasn't the right answer. I like how the marker keeps moving too for what part of the range to or bridge to look at. We got ourselves a little Ranger family reunion now. Time's right for a few. Hey, I heard about you. What can I do for you, friend? Thanks. We haven't been paired together long, <clears throat> but he's a smart dog. Ah. I brush it every day. 100 brushes. Thank I don't know about that. You know what? I think it's best if he stays with me. Nope. Haven't noticed anything strange at all. Neither has my friend here. And he has a good nose for these things. <laughs> Bye. Jerk. <clears throat> I thought there was, like, a bomb down here or something. Oh, well. I guess we'll meet with Ranger Rick. Have you finished your security sweep? Well, I haven't found shit. Looks like that's his bird -a bird coming right now. It's showtime. Let's not mess this up. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got some security procedures to oversee. Maybe it happens during his speech. Nothing is going to happen to the president on my watch. Move along. Thank you, my fellow Californians. Keep an eye out for you. have come so far to answer the call the service put forth by the Republic. Leave me alone. It is for you that I have come here. Quiet. And it is because of you that I am able to do so. President Kimball is giving us a speech. We enjoy our privileges because you take the greatest of risks and are prepared to make the most noble sacrifices. It is because of men and women like Private First Class, Jeremy Watson. What are you doing up here? Ah, got him. Free. Oh shit, really? We should go take a look. Uh, I think I should check it out first before radioing it in. Fuck it. You are more trouble than you're worth. Board 
Somebody here. And we made true on our promise, driving out the raider tribes to establish a lasting peace in the eastern Sierra Nevada. We carried the weight, and though we left behind many of our brothers and sisters on that battlefield, it did not break us. Ten years ago, Chief Elise met with representatives of the Desert Rangers to discuss terms of what would become. The Ranger Unification Treaty. The treaty was more than a resolution to welcome the Desert Rangers into the Republic. Huh. I thought there was something else. It was a covenant to protect Southern Nevada against Caesar's legion and the tyranny of this regime. Because I know if I talk to him, he'll stop the uh, speech. But who are we protecting? What is bad to us? Sometimes we forget that the light of our society shines beyond our borders. Sometimes we take those privileges for granted that our forebears fought so hard to achieve. We must always remember that wherever California stand, we carry our principles with us. Equal respect, representation, blah, blah, blah. and protection under the laws of a just republic. This is the same fire that burned in the heart of the old world that preceded us. We are the heirs of that civilization. Torture eastward of the Pacific, into the darkness of this wasted land. When the Republic called the men and women of California to carry that fire across the Mojave, he wasn't here a minute ago. Jeremy Watson answered. You answered. Together you carried the weight. Do you mind? And when BFC Watson's platoon came under attack at Fort Worth, he took the greatest risk. Not only for his fellow Californians, but for California itself. He was prepared to make the most noble of sacrifices to defend the principles of our Republic, even here, on the last soil. His actions are a meaning to all of us who stand here today in tribute to his power. Blah, 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 blah. Private First Class Jerry Watson, on behalf of the Senate and people of the new California Republic, it is my honor to present you with the Star of Sierra Monterey. Not far from this spot, a monument stands as a tribute to the sacrifice made by those who came before us. Do you mind? The men and women who you mind? the we made to the Desert Rangers. Its back is inscribed with the names of the troopers. Wow, they recorded a lot of voice voiceover for this. And because they made the most noble sacrifices, it did not break us. Four years ago, we held this dam. Four years ago, we carried the weight. Four years ago, blah, blah, blah. Politicians are windbags no matter what century. A line that Caesar cannot cross. Today, you stand here with our brothers and sisters to hold that line. Today, you honor all Californians by carrying that weight. Today, you are the waves of the Pacific, push ever eastward. You are the sequoias rising from the Sierra Nevadas, defiant and enduring. You are the great western light of California, torchbearers in the darkness, living reminders of all that is best in our republic. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, let's get the fuck out of here. What the hell are you waiting for? I want to get shot. Let's go. That's Veronica. Do not trust you. Do you mind? 
Just gonna save and. Oops. Okay, I guess he wasn't the bad guy. <laughs> Oh, the vertebird! Well, move along. I have investigated the area for clues. Shouldn't you be keeping an eye out for anything suspicious? A bomb on the president's vertebrate. Only a limited number of people had access to the vertebrate. We have to get the president out of here now. It's already I'll done. the speech and have security search the area. We can't relax until we get the president out of here safely. Hey. Not. Hey! Not now. Not now. Fucker. My own minions are screwing the president. Well, that was fun. I get the feeling that could have gone better. Not now. Dude, he's gone. Fuck you. Or does something destroy that on its way out or something? Aha! 1600 XP for that. Woohoo! Right. Uh. Let's boost our sneaky sneak. Twenty-seven. Now I've got... Ah, oh shit, it's after nine. Well, let's look for new sneak perks, and then I should probably bail. Your sneak attack criticals with pistols, blah 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 blah. Eh, screw that. Mr. Sandman, you're in, when you're in sneak mode, you gain the option to silently kill any human or ghoul while they're sleeping. Ah, that's interesting. Silent running. Running no longer factors into sneak attempts. Okay. Yeah, I gotta pick two of these fuckers. Fifty percent damage bonus every time you score a critical. Hmm. Sure, we'll take better crits. And then I gotta pick another one. Come on. Oh, I get level 28 stuff now, though. Anytime you sleep outside, you gain the benefits of being well rested even if you don't own the bed. Radiation level slowly decreases on its own over time. Hmm. Well, 
Eh, we'll take both of these. Let's do rat absorption first. That seems more useful. Do a manual save. Good job today. I got the president out safe and sound. I couldn't have done it without you. You have my thanks. No problem, homie. Do you mind? So he's just an asshole. That's a nice suit President Kimball had. That's a nice suit President Kimball had. That was a great speech. Oh, well. At least he didn't talk about the clothing. We need to keep an eye out for anything suspicious. A little late for that, isn't it, buddy? hey -o! I can't believe someone wanted to kill President Kimball. I'm glad he got out of here safe. Bye-bye. All right. Well, that was exciting, and I guess the plot is advanced. Now... I just put that on the Eldorado power thing, and uh, we go further. So, I will be doing that tomorrow, probably, during the live stream this Saturday. Uh, thanks, everybody, for watching. I get the feeling chat died. But, uh, anyway, in case any warm bodies are watching this, uh, thanks for coming along with me this morning. Hope you enjoyed yourselves, and until next time, have a great day, and I will see everybody tomorrow. Probably starting at 11 a.m. Eastern. Catch you later.